Lord, thank you. <laughs> thank you for keeping us another day, Lord, another evening and safe and sound. In this video, we're visiting Terraza 48, a rooftop restaurant here on Cordeo 48A in El Centro. You're gonna have Mediterranean food, they have tacos, they have cocktails, mocktails. So let's just sit down, enjoy some food and the beautiful city of San Miguel. We're Chris and Jackie, two immigrants trying to eat our way through our beautiful new hometown of San Miguel de Allende. Let's get a table for three and review everything this UNESCO World Heritage Site has to offer. You're watching 7997 Eats San Miguel. Amigos! <laughs> Yikes! That's beautiful! So, we have a treat. We have friends. A surprise. <laughs> I got Chapulinas on the hummus. Mm -hmm. Did not expect it. For the record, I do believe that certain things should be listed on the menu. Amigos is one of them. It just tastes crunchy. Mm hmm. A little smoky. It's delicious. I'm not mad. Now, for the right. record, it's not the first time we've had insects or byproduct of insects. Yeah. It's a thing. What was that, um, that dish we had in Mexico City? Uh, I want to say it's escamoles, which was ant eggs. And it was delicious. It was so good. Buttery. Yeah. Smooth. Yeah. But it told us what it was, you know? It did. It was not a surprise. And then when um, we eat, we've eaten at uh, Ancestro, she, uh, Chef has um, Chapolinos in her uh, guacamole. Yeah. So it's on the menu. Yeah. I think something should be is listed. It no. Oh, it is on the menu, actually. Where? Just totally missed it. Where? It says green chickpea hummus. It says green chickpea hummus oh. and a description underneath of it, chili oil, grasshoppers, olives, and mushrooms. So for the record, y'all, the description should not have a space in between it. We don't put spaces because <laughs> I'm thinking it's another dish. Oh, my goodness. Mm, that's really good. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Smooth, it's creamy. Mm -hmm. Is that olive? Crunch. Yeah, there's olives, there's mushrooms. Mm. And then there's um, pumpkin seeds and the crickets. So you got smooth, creamy, the crunch. Mm -hmm. The chili oil isn't really spicy. It hasn't hit me yet, at least mm -hmm. if it is. Mm -hmm. It's great flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so that was a 48. 48. Yeah. Chili oil is cooking in a little bit. It's not super spicy at all. Mm -mm. It's good. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. I've never had a hummus like this. And it's really tasty. Like what? How would you describe it? It's different. Well, for all intents and purposes, I would say it's busy. It's busy. It's a fusion, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. They married, they married um, Mexico and the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. They really, really did. And they're totally unapologetic about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so instead of using olive oil, they use the, the spicy chili sure. oil. And... Pumpkin seeds, mm -hmm. grasshoppers. Yeah. It's muy interesante. The olives is more matter of spraying. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms are kind of in between. But yeah, really good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. Overall, the ambiance of this place is, is small, but it's beautiful. Uh, from the street, you see the steepest <laughs> set of stairs you ever want to see in your life. <laughs> and if you're like my wife who just came from workout, maybe not as inviting as you'd like it to be. My legs, y'all. My legs were trembling. <laughs> so you go up the first flight, that level is the kitchen. And you have to go up another flight of stairs to get to the mm -hmm. restaurant itself. Mm -hmm. um, looks like maybe... 
don't know, a good 10 tables. Mm -hmm. But very spot, intimate. The view is dramatic, gorgeous. It's, as usual, right? You get all the churches. It's so lovely. It's, it's incredible. Um, and like this is not a unique view for this city. This city has this view at a lot of places. Mm -hmm. And it's always awe-inspiring every time you get to it. So. Mm -hmm. Big, big thumbs up on the ambiance for sure. A little modern, mm -hmm. exposed beams, plants around the edges, great lighting is very subtle. We're probably disturbing the lighting right now with our light. Oh yeah, I was thinking the same oh, thing. Lo siento. Yeah. <laughs> quiet, romantic dinner unless they're YouTubers there with big lights. <laughs> We mess it up for anybody. Sharana be cute. <laughs> Wanna start off? Ouch. Kick it off. Mm-hmm. Oh Lord, thank you. <laughs> thank you for keeping us another day, Lord, another evening and safe and sound. And just sitting in your mercy, Lord. Thank you so much for this meal. May it nourish us. May nothing hurt or harm us, Lord. And bless the hands that prepared it from the farm to the table. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And bless the cook, Lord. All right. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a lot going on. This is really delicious. So the governor had the manchego, shrimp, mm -hmm. poblano, chili beans, creamy avocado, and a parmesan crust. Plus, yes. mm -hmm. It's working for you? Mm-hmm. Touch salty. That should be perfect right up your alley. <laughs> it's deep. It's rich. The um the salt is hitting coming through because of the cheeses. Yeah. So it's manchego and parmesan. Mm -hmm. And the shrimp has a little chili spice to it. It was really delicious. Creamy avocado. It's easily, easy delicious. And there's a black bean situation. What is this friend? Hold on guys. Hold on. What is that? Caramelized onions? So it's dark, it's rich, it's really delicious. Mm-hmm. And this is on a flour tortilla. For those who think there's no flour tortillas in Mexico. Right. It's a thing. <laughs> mm. Yeah. That is good. Dark, rich. Dark, rich. Mm-hmm. It is salt forward for the cheese. Mm -hmm. Shrimp is well seasoned. Mm -hmm. Not overcooked. Mm -hmm. It's a quality taco. <laughs> I'm a fan of that. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Okay, Terrazzi. All right, two for two so far. So we got the tacos de lengua with I think pickled onions and cucumber and something else. And I like how my little crisps give more texture too for mm -hmm. my taco. Mm -hmm. First of all, the tongue. Is it tender and delicious? Super tender and Is delicious. Is it? Could be seasoned a little stronger. Mm -hmm. but super tender, fall apart. Mm -hmm. It's got some sweetness. The onions in the cucumber, I think, should use some acid to kind of cut through that a little bit. Mm -hmm. But overall, it's solid. I think your taco is better than my taco, but it's mm. a good taco. Okay. All right, so let's see. Uh-oh, <clears throat> uh-oh. It's it falling all. apart, babes. Hold on, hold on. Tuck your goodies, man. Tuck. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you say that? <laughs> Sometimes your goodies be hanging out. You got to tuck them in. Mm-hmm. Yours is better though, right? It's good. Mm -hmm. I think this one could have stood a flour tortilla. Mm -hmm. The corn tortilla. Sometimes corn tortillas can um, soften.
soften really quickly mm. and disintegrate. Yeah. But you know it's homemade. You totally know it's homemade. Mm. Okay, I'm going in for the tamale. I'm just gonna take back my comment. Now that I've got more of the cucumber and the onion, it's enough ash to cut here. Wow. The mole. Great flavor. Oh my goodness. I don't need the tremendous pile of lettuce on the top. You need your vegetables. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> Initially, I'm thinking I don't need the lettuce on the top. <laughs> Get your vegetables. The mole. Just the henna chocolate, the henna sweetness. Great spice. Oh man. Tender, moist. Moist tamale. Mm -hmm. I could enjoy that for as a meal. You know, like if there was some shrimp or chicken hidden in there. It's like you don't need meat all the time, but yeah. but I could still taste that. You know, having some <clears throat> roast kind chicken. Of the fun of a tamale is like stuff it with secret anything. treat on the inside. Wood inside, right? Mmm. Cool. That's yummy, right? Mm -hmm. Nice hit, nice hit of spice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not terribly spicy, guys. Just spicy enough. Mm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I will say the exterior is like a little tough. Mm -hmm. Like maybe it's been steaming just a little too long. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Or that part of it, probably not the hottest part of the pot. Maybe so. Mm -hmm. But the inside is smooth and delicious. Mm -hmm. Fresh pieces of corn in there. It's yeah. really good. It's really good. I will say I could use some more texture in the tamale. Mm. I think a tamale doesn't necessarily need texture in it, but as a composed dish, mm -hmm. I always want some texture. Mm -hmm. um, so a little bit more texture in there would be nice. Mm -hmm. The lettuce on top is not crisp enough to really take texture mm -hmm. to me. But. So what would you do? A little onion? I think it has to be some texture with some acid. I think it needs some acid. Mm -hmm. It's rich and sweet. Having some acid to cut through would be helpful. Mm -hmm. It's a little pickled onion, pickled cucumber. Yeah. It's delicious, though. Mm -hmm. Very delicious. I don't know. Is that a sign of good food? Is when you're eating the salsa, chips and salsa last? Right. <laughs> you're not worried about trying to fill yourself up on chips and salsa? Okay. I like the blue corn for better. Yeah. Better texture. Mm. How's your roasted sauce in the middle? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I would say not the place to come for chips and salsa. Mm -mm. Mm. Muchas gracias. I will say that's a first for any Mexico restaurant in Mexico we've been to. Ever. Yeah. To me, that was like crumbing the table back home. Right. Yeah. So she stepped in and gave us a wipe down. Yikes, okay, wipe down. Um, Extra pesos. Wipe me down. Wipe, what? Wipe, wipe me down. Extra. Um. Calmate. <laughs> <laughs> Extra pesos, though. So, right. yeah, this would be a place I would definitely come back to. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll give a formal review after everything has been completed. Okay. They still got one more round to possibly mess it up. Yeah. Aww. Chips and salsa didn't deliver. But I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm mad. It's the little nibbles, the free nibbles, so yeah. Yeah. yeah we, I wouldn't put much effort into that either. Really? I would. I don't know. My nibbles were delicious. Sounds very the inappropriate. J very inappropriate. At yeah, I think it's a good range of prices. Like you can get 200 peso tacos, which for tacos is expensive, but mm -hmm. it's 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, or you can spend $35 on a nice ribeye steak. Mm -hmm. You know, you got. Mm -hmm. Options. You don't mm -hmm. have to go and spend a ton of money if you don't want to. Right, right, yeah. right. You could treat this almost like a tapas. Yeah. Of course, we did order tacos and an on and an, uh, an appetizer. Yes. I haven't this. seen a main dish just yet. That's say. true. That's true. Main dish might be bigger. So next time we come back, yeah, you are gonna come back with us. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. What did you order? Something. Yikes. Muchas gracias. Oh, wow. 
Hace mucho calor. Sí, mucho caliente. Sí, sí, sí. Thank you. So this is the cremoso de dulce de leche. So dulce de leche cream. Mm -hmm. Banuelo? What's the banuelo? Triangles. Oh, okay, see, sí, yeah. gracias. And then the pork belly taco. Mm -hmm. Like some fried onions mm -hmm. on top. Some type of sauce on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Roasted pineapple puree. Mm -hmm. Caramel on the plate. Little slices of apple in there. <laughs> He's just so sorry. <laughs> it's good. Mm -hmm. I would say it's a good swing. Don't say the leche flan. Okay. The way that I would, I would characterize that. Smooth is creamy. Beautiful caramel flavor. A little fresh green apple. It's very delicious. I, you know what? Yeah. Seems like a Whiskey like a thing. cheesecake to me. Cheesecake? Mm -hmm. Presentation is gorgeous. It's really beautiful. Really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's something else on top of it. Maybe some candied fruit of some kind? Or what else is in the description? Friente de dulce de leche. I think it was apple. Oh no, these are Pecante fermentado y manzana. Is like a fermented fruit? Fermented yeah? apple, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Did you have any more in you to taste a savory bite? Maybe, you go first. <clears throat> yeah, take your glasses off to get into that. One. What? <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Pork belly is pork belly. Mm hmm. Very tender, delicious. Nothing is overpowering anything. Very tender, delicious, flavorful. Could use a, such a salt. <laughs> and let the joke go. It's okay. <laughs> Doesn't need to live forever. I was I was joking. You need to touch a salt. I'll be the judge of that. Good. Pork belly is really tender. Mm hmm. Isn't it? Suck your mouth. of meat and fat. Mm hmm. Juicy. A little smoky. Yeah. And the salt. Touch of salt. It could if you wanted to. I don't think it needs it. But... One of the bite? I like a little bit more crunch out of the crispies on top. Yeah. They're not as crunchy as they could be. Mm hmm. No, no, go ahead. They're good though, right? They are good. It's really tasty. Mm -hmm. All right, let's taste the these salsa. I hope that's not too spicy. Lord have mercy, y'all. Should have tasted it. Bro. Man, I should. <laughs> this rule: before you put any dollops of sauces on your food, just take a little, little hint. <laughs> I didn't follow that rule either. But uh, I got that orange salsa. Man. The habanero is still a little bit burning on the tongue. Is, is it really? Yeah, it's a little bit. <laughs> it's talking. It's talking. Good salsa? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they call it a cilantro guaca chili. Ah. <laughs> Cilantro, avocado, and some chili. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> they should have had that with chicken sauce. Little hit, little hit, little hit. But it's very tasty. I'm not gonna say it, but you know what I'm thinking. Didn't even zip a touch of salt. I just want you to 
You see, you, you just throw me under the bus too much. All right, so, Terraza 48. Bueno, no bueno, más o menos. Oh, that's really good. So we say thumbs up, más o menos, thumbs down, thumbs up for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Hit all the, the check marks. Hit all the check marks, yeah. ambiance, great service, uh -huh. great personalities, great food. Yeah. Uh, the one downside is so small, the chips and salsa, I could do without. Mm. Who cares? Um, everything <laughs> else was just great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, definitely come back if you're in town, check it out. Mm -hmm. If you live here, check it out. Yeah. If you're passing through, check it out. Must have on the list. Yes, yeah. yes. It's a keeper. Yes. For sure. Two thumbs up. So as always, we ask you guys to like, comment, subscribe. Yes, buy us a coffee. Buy a coffee. I mean, buy us a taco. Again, if you're all ready to get out the country, <laughs> we offer consultation services. You can check that out at 7997.life. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see you guys again next week at another great restaurant table. Hopefully great. I know. <laughs> but thank you all for joining us tonight. Really appreciate your time. As always, quit a day. Carry your strong safe. Take care. Take a chance. <laughs> Peace, guys.